It's been a national pastime for both British people and French people for virtually a thousand years to be at each other's throats. Pig-headed, uh, does exactly what they want to do and don't take any idea, of, any notice of the rules. British, uh, roast beef. They can be quite rude. They really like to drink. <laughs> <laughs> What's really exciting is that we have the McGann experiment, which is essentially a way to figure out of all those stereotypes that we have between the British and the French, if they're actually true. Sometimes they are irritating, you know, uh, the French, the, the amount of garlic that's consumed, the, the, the cheese. Uh, you still, in the provinces, do meet people with ridiculous berets and sort of onions around their neck. It's really interesting when you think about where stereotypes derive from. Obviously, historically, there's often a grain of truth there. But what tends to happen then is the more they're perpetuated, all we begin to see is a stereotype. And we buy into it without actually challenging it. I know they say we don't use soap. <laughs> Can't be Apparently. I guess wine, cheese, frogs. The French like, they like to uh, enjoy life. Rem yeah, love, lo love. No. Jeez. Love it. Love it. <laughs> what was really telling was when we asked the French, what do you think Brits are worst at? They said cooking, um, love, and eating too much. So the, the, the idea is that they, they don't cook very much, but they eat very badly, and love where they just don't do that very well. But I think when it comes to um, the erotic charge, you'll now find that it's flowing down the River Thames, not down the River Seine. The French and the British are united on one thing, and that's what the British love. And the British love having a cup of tea, talking about the football, and reveling in our past achievements. For me, it was a great regret when the Eurostar stopped coming into Waterloo Station, because Waterloo is a reminder of one of the most humiliating moments in the history of France. Uh, Napoleon, a small man with big ideas, thought that perhaps he could conquer the world. He couldn't. He could conquer great chunks of it, but not the British, not les roast beef. I do think the cultural superiority, though, is very interesting. And I think this comes from this sense of flamboyance as opposed to the stiff upper lip, which we value. And I think this comes from our very different value systems. In France, what is valued is spontaneity, is, is beauty, is, is aesthetics. There seems to be a great input into that. With Britain, it's much more functionality. And there seems to be a real sense of pride when it comes to that functionality. I think it's quite wrong to say the British and French don't understand each other. I think they understand each other perfectly. You know, there's that famous old English saying, I mean, um, love France but hate the French.